comes right off. What's going on guys? Um, we got a surprise for you today. <laughs> uh, we're gonna fix the truck today. Um, I just got in some JBA upper control arms. So I'm super excited. I went ahead and I bought, um, bought a grease gun um, and uh, the needles as well because I'll be putting grease into my lower ball joints um, they've been they've been making a lot of noise lately so I'm hoping that it's a good temporary fix until I can get uh, new lower ball joints so what do we get with the JBA upper control arm for a 2010 plus Runner, you get a certificate, lifetime warranty on the JBA upper control arms, and it's certified, guys. We have a <laughs> we have an actual letter from JBA, which I think is kind of cool, telling us how important we are to them. The packaging is very nice, uh, nicely packed, comes in the uh, foam, and here it is, the beast. Nicely powder coated, um, comes with the grease zerk fitting, so that we can put up a couple of grease um, shots into it. The bushings look pretty sturdy. Um, yeah, overall I think it's very nice. I can't wait to get it on. Alright, so I got my cousin here today helping me out. Oh, shit. What's up? Yeah, we gotta take off the battery tray and then uh, take off the wheels and then we can get started. Ballin'. Alright, first take off your battery. Ah, uh, shoot, my freaking uh, winch cable line's on the way, but fuck it. Motherfucker. No, Monica. It doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Put it aside, it doesn't touch that again. Is it like, shoot, I can't get that angle. Let's get a 10 millimeter. Is your dad's truck today? Yeah. I mean, you want to drive mine? Locked in? No, I mean, I could get out, but I didn't want to drive it because of the, I didn't, that's too lazy to change the oil on it from the oh. storm. I'm sure water's in there, in the oil, so. Why don't you take out the uh, plugs and uh, freaking, uh, when you, uh, you know, just take out all the water. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I already want to drive it because that's too lazy to do it. I'll do it one these days. Yeah. That's the thing with the, the cold, cold air intake, you know, you gotta, be very careful when you yeah. drive. I gotta get a hydro seal for that. Of course, just like that now. Fuck it. 
be enough. Comes right off like that. Take off the battery. Tray comes off. And then, uh, let's see if I can get that out. Then there's a bracket that has to come off. It's a 10 millimeter. So this bracket here has to come off. I can't get it at the angle, so I'm get it. In. Okay, thank goodness for tools, man. <laughs> right. Okay, hold on. All right. All right. And then. Uh, tire came off, and then now we had to take off the solder pin that uh, holds the tassel nut. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, once we're done with that, um, you just want to hammer it out. And yeah, that should be it. Oh, so that's a lot of grease, dude. Grease like that. So once the cotter pin comes off, um, you want to loosen up the calcium nut. This is a 19 millimeter. Um, and then what you want to do is just loosen it up just so that it's flush with the thread. Like that. Nope, not happening. I'm ruining it too. <laughs> Maybe it's time for ball joint press. There you go, it came off. Got it. Alright. Uh, oh, 18. And as you can see, Tons and tons of oil built up here, or grease built up because the boot was leaking oil or grease. So that's why it's going bad and we need to replace it. Comes right off. Sweet. Cast it off. All right. So next thing I have to do is uh, take off these. Let me grab my tool. I think I have a tool or something. I don't know where my tool went. Fuck. What do you guys use to use that? For removing those clips? Yeah. Flathead? Or you don't have that panel tool? I had one, but I can't find it no more. Oh, right here, dude. I've been driving around with it. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take your tool. And uh, get it under there. Oh, and just pry it up. Should be enough. I, th I think that exposed. Well, actually, maybe that one might be it too. Just access that. What is one or two? All right, now we have access to it. And we need a, I think it was a 19 millimeter. You almost fucked up, dude. 
Yeah, you almost have to run with no ABS, man. It's all good, man. It's all good. <laughs> God, like blood. I don't know why it's so fucking hard. Fuck. Shut up. Oh, now the other side is spinning. It's not weird. This socket even fit. No, it won't even fit, dude. Okay, so the main difference here is that this one has a wider and a, a deeper. Um, oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, here, so the arm goes down, it won't hit the spring. The next few steps here are very hard to do alone. Um, this requires two person. One person must feed the boat through the top and then one person must hold the upper control arm steady with the bushings in place. Uh, once that's done, you know, the person on top just has to push in the boat and then you just have to tighten up the nut on the rear and then torque it to spec. I believe the torque spec was 85 foot pounds. Again, thanks for watching the Steve Yang channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment.